Hello everybody and welcome back to another My Porch Prints tutorial. Today I am going to be showing you how to assemble the Shabby Circle Journal Kit which is available right now in our shop and again the link for that is down in the description box below. So let's go ahead and jump right in here and get started by uh, printing out everything that we will need. This kit comes with everything so you don't have to buy anything else just this one kit. Um, but if you wanted to, of course, you can always add your own pieces or other kits into it to bulk it up or make it more interesting. We're just going to be showing you the basics here today. And for that, we are going to start with the cover, the pockets, and ephemera, which are all printed on cardstock and nothing prints on the back. Whereas with the circle pages, all of those are printed on regular paper. And if you want more writing space, you can print several of the lined writing pages, which you can see right here, if you just want to have a little more room for that. And when cutting out the circle pages, um, it helps if you can do them a multiple at a time. So we are going to be taking three of these sheets and lining them up, trying to get them as straight as possible. And then taking a small clamp we are going to be clamping one side and that'll help hold that in place. And then on the other side, we are going to be peeling back each corner and applying either glue or double-sided tape. I'll be using double-sided tape for mine to hold them together. And that way they will stay aligned and you can just cut out multiple pages at a time and make it a little bit faster. All right, and now that we have everything cut out, we can go ahead and start to assemble. And for that, you're going to be folding the circle pages in half so that the white side is showing. And you wanna make sure that they are right side up. So if there is any writing or images, just make sure that those are facing upwards and not upside down. And then to assemble, we are going to glue them together using Fabri-Tac, white side to white side. And the key with this is to try to make sure that you get the spine lined up as evenly as possible, so not too high, not too low, just sort of double checking as you go and gluing it down. And if you have any white showing, um, you can go ahead and take some scissors and cut it off or hide it using some Distress ink. And we're going to go ahead and just do that with all of the uh, little circle pages that we have. And when you are done, it should look something like this. As you can see, I've gone through and trimmed all of the edges already and I will be going over it with just a little bit of Distress Ink just to kind of hide any extra white that is showing. And you can use any ink color that you want. I'm going with the Vintage Photo Ink and a stamper here and just sort of carefully going each page. You can do multiple pages at a time if you want. Um, I found that that missed some spots though, so I tried to do all of them. Uh, individually just to make sure I had thorough coverage. And this is what that looks like when finished. All right, now we are going to jump into the covers. And for that, you're going to be taking these little uh, buttons that come with the kit. And there's a little circle on each of them in the center. And using a micro hole punch, I'm just going to punch that out. And then for the covers, deciding which one I want to use. And because of this one's writing, I want it to be upright, so I'm going to use this as the cover. And then taking a brad, I will just be securing the button to the cover, punching a hole through the cover again with the micro hole punch. And this way you can hide the brad underneath the cover after gluing it down. 
But before that, we are going to want to put our spine on. So that's this little lace piece here. And we are just going to glue this on, like sort of fold it over the cover, sort of form it to the shape of the spine. And then again, taking that fabric tack and just gluing it down. And this is what that should look like when it's finished. And now we can go ahead and glue our covers on to hide that spine and that uh, brad. Just like this. And again, if you have any white showing, just trim that off and add a little bit of Distress Ink. And now it is time to decorate. So we can go ahead, I'm gonna grab some scraps that I have, as well as the uh, ephemera and pockets from the kit. And I'm just going to be gluing down some little scraps and labels and just sort of doing a general quick decorating for you guys. Again, when gluing the pockets, you want to put the glue on just the curved part, not the straight edge, so that it allows you to tuck things into the pocket. And you can add Distress Ink to your pieces if you want, or you don't have to, it's completely up to you. You can use your pockets uh, on both pages or one page. You can use them sideways and tuck things into them that way. Really get as creative as you want here. I'll just be keeping it pretty, pretty straightforward for now. And when you're done, this is what it should look like. Just a quick little simple project that you can use to make like your own little journal or add it into an existing one. And to be finishing it up, we are going to be taking just a small piece of string and wrapping it around those buttons on the front and back cover to close it. All right, and now your shabby circle journal is done. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye!